Hi everybody, it's Kathy and welcome back to Kathy Over 50. Today I'm trying some new Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I have already went ahead and put on my Hourglass Primer and today's foundation that I'm using is the Estee Lauder Futurist and I wear it in the shade Fresco. I have a separate video on this. You can go and uh, get lots of information about that foundation. I love it. I don't even feel it on my face. It just feels like my skin. And I've already went ahead and done my eyebrows with the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Power Pencil. I'm doing the video a little differently today. I just wanna concentrate on the new products that I just received. And I'll just uh, quickly show them to you before I try them on. I bought a Laura Mercier Candlelight Glow Sheer Perfecting Power, and this is in the shade one. It is the lightest shade. Hopefully it's the right shade. And I'm gonna be setting it today with this brand new tool that I'm so excited to try. It is the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. It's a dual-sided powder puff. This double duty next generation jelly puff helps to distribute and touch up your powder formula so makeup looks flawless. So I'm excited to try this out today and I'm gonna be applying the Laura Mercier powder with it. And then all the other makeup that I'm going to be using is uh, by Charlotte Tilbury. If you haven't seen my color corrector video, I love this stuff and I will demonstrate it in this video. And then the next thing that I have by Charlotte, I have never tried Iconic Liquid Eye Pencils before and I bought it in Midnight Blue. And that's a shade. Actually, it almost looks like a slate gray, but it's, it feels really creamy on the back of my hand. And I'm excited to try her Pillow Talk Cream Eyeshadow. This is the cutest little container. Her initials are embossed on the top. And at the top looks like a pink jewel. It's really adorable. I haven't tried this, it's brand new. I will tell you the pot is super, super small. I have her Eyes to Mesmerize. This one is in Champagne and you can see uh, the difference in the pot size. I forget how much this one was, but I wanted to try it, but I just wanted to show you like it is, it's a lot smaller, but I'm super excited to try it. The Eyes to Mesmerize is seven milliliters and this one is three grams. So it's about half the size, a little less than half. And then to top everything off, um, I'm trying her Pillow Talk lip gloss. Charlotte's Jewel Lips Dazzling Diamond Gloss. So I just wanted to show you everything. I'm gonna take my glasses off and uh, let's powder up my face trying this powder puff. I'm super excited to try both of these things. Really picks up a lot of product. Hopefully I didn't pick up too much. It really does a nice job. I'm just looking in my magnifying mirror. I think the combination of the powder puff and the, uh, the powder is going to do a really nice job. So yeah, I really do like this and I like the powder. I really like the powder too, it's nice. You see, it doesn't accentuate my pores at all. It's really, really nice. And it's a nice pairing with this foundation. I really like this foundation. So next up, I'm gonna try her Coal Eyeliner. I always have such a difficult time with tight lining because it, my eyes just want to water and they want to close, but you can see the difference. I did manage to get it on the water line. I find it easier if I just take my time and just do little strokes right on the lash line. My lashes are very short and very sparse. I'm going to go back and do this one a bit more. I have to tell you, I really do like this. Going on, I can feel how creamy it is. I think it does a nice job. So I'm happy about this. Because some eyeliners I've used in the past, I feel like you have to really tug but this one doesn't seem that way. So normally don't do my bottom uh, waterline, but I just want to try it because you can see what it's like. Yeah, it's very, very creamy. It's very nice. And you can see on my bottom wa waterline with my blue eyes, it does kind of look like a bluish violet color. It's very nice. 
So I am definitely sold on this. So, so far, uh, very pleased. I'm just applying the one eyeshadow. We'll see how creamy it is. And just putting it on gently with a flat um, eyeshadow brush. Wow. This is gorgeous. It's barely there, but can you see the difference between the two? This is the one with it. It is beautiful. It really is. And it, it's almost like it dries down into a powder. Like it's not sticky at all. This is gorgeous. I would see myself wearing this every day in the summer. I'm gonna build it up a bit. Oh, the more I build it up, the more you can see the, the sparkle. It's, it's gorgeous. Wow, I love this. I'm so happy. You know that I like, um, you know, easy everyday makeup looks and this is right up my alley. It's nice to have just like a single cream eyeshadow for a simple everyday look. This is beautiful. So I'm going all over the uh, the eyelid and just going up into the crease and kind of blending it. I'm, I'm not putting any up above the crease. Isn't that pretty? I hope that it uh, transfers okay on my phone. It's, it's just a lovely light pink with speckles of, it almost looks like diamond dust. Oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. It's so pretty. I'm really pleased about this. So then I'm gonna just uh, take the end of this flat brush and just gently dip it in. And I'm just gonna drive um, over my lower lashes and just sort of smudge out the eyeliner that I put there and just transfer a little bit of the eyeshadow. Just smoke it out a bit. This is so pretty. Now I have read reviews on Sephora that it does dry out uh, quickly. So I hope it doesn't dry out too fast in the pot. That's really pretty, very, very nice. So, so far, love this, love her eyeliner. This is really nice. I'll have to get another color in that maybe in the fall. And I'm just realizing that I completely forgot to do the color corrector. So I'll just quickly do that. And if you want to see, um, get more information on this, I will link the video that I did solely on this. I wear the first shade, the fair and the color corrector. And now I'm not doing any blush or anything because I just want to try out these Charlotte products. This is in Pillow Talk and there's four milliliters in each tube. So let's see what it's like. I had her Pillow Talk lipstick, but I just found it was a little too brown on me. So I'm kind of curious to see how the lip gloss looks. It's has a very faint scent. It's not sticky, but I don't know how to explain it. Like you can feel you have something on your lips. I would say it feels a little heavier than some lip glosses. It's a really uh, faint, pretty pink. And then my mascara. I was tempted to try one of her mascaras, but maybe I'll get it during the next sale because there are some mascaras that I just, I need to use up and I'm... This is the It Dry Bar Lash Blowout. Okay, so let's recap everything. I really like this powder. Normally I will use the Hourglass Loose Powder. I wanted to try a pressed powder and I have to tell you I'm loving this and I really do like this uh, Beauty Blender Puff. So I'm going to be using this in the future and we'll see how it works for um, powder foundation because I did order a new powder foundation that I want to try and I'm waiting for it to come. Uh, the color corrector, you know I love the color corrector. I just got a little too excited to try my other products on today. I, you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's just makeup. And the Jewel Pot eyeshadow. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. I mean, look at my eyes. Isn't that pretty? I think it's perfect for summer or if you just want like a one and done 
eyeshadow. It, oh, it's gorgeous. It's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really loving this coal eyeliner. It goes on so smoothly. It really, really is nice. And I like the look that it uh, created for my eyes. And then uh, to top it off with everything else, her Pillow Talk Jewel Lip Gloss, I really like it. I think this created a really nice, simple, everyday summer look. And I could totally, if I was going out, you know, to a wedding or a party or something, you could totally like amp this makeup up. But right now my calendar's empty, so. Can't wait to get this haircut. It is driving me crazy. I haven't had it cut since February and we're in phase one opening in Ontario and I'm hoping that the hair salons will open the first week of July, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna be at the top of her list. So fingers crossed, I can uh, get my hair cut fairly soon. So if you wanna see more easy makeup videos, please leave me a comment and give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would really love it if you did. I'm really trying hard to upload two videos a week. I'm aiming for Sundays and Wednesdays. And if you could share my channel, I really, really, really would like to get to 10,000 subscribers very, very soon. So thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope that you enjoyed watching me try on my new Charlotte Tilbury makeup. And I hope that you have a great day. See you soon. Bye.